taking over the streets. We work it. Working this city exclusively on Streets 94. Fa- holidays, 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 holiday season. Brooke's doing her news from a bubble. <laughs> Quarantine her ass. All right, you guys, if Bow Wow's mom, T-Pain's mom, Lil Wayne, Lil Scrappy, and Waka Flocka's moms all got together and got a reality show, would you guys watch it? Sure would. Sure would. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they've been courted, and they're (laughs) still being courted to do a reality show, all of them. Um, They're saying that uh, uh, Deb is, you know, Waka Flocka's mom. She's not really sold on the idea, and the other ones... They kind of want to do it, but they don't want to embarrass their son, so they're looking for the right situation. <laughs> they don't want to Peter Guns them. <laughs> I yeah, get it. I get it. They want to get on TV looking crazy. All right. Remember last year, you guys, I talked about Meek Mill getting in trouble for that uh, gun possession charge, and the judge ordered him to do etiquette classes. Do you remember I was talking about that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, he passed all his classes with ease, and he showed so much interest in, interest in that that he hired a lady named Gail from the Madison School of Etiquette and Protocol to school him on how to conduct himself in fine dining oh scenarios. God, so. Well, so that's, when, there's the way to take initiative. Yeah, I, I think like that. I think it's nice. He's learned how to use his fork and spoon and yeah. the, you know, salad. You know, use a fork and spoon. I mean, after a while, jailhouse etiquette just kind of goes out the way. <laughs> you know, they don't have make a million now. dollars, man. A couple of weeks ago, I talked about Nicki Minaj possibly being pregnant. We can finally confirm that this story is absolutely false. A rep for Wheezy and uh, Nicki Minaj have told Rumor Fix exclusively that the gossip is just that. Gossip. Yes, not pregnant. true. <laughs> okay, Super Bowl's coming up. Beyonce <laughs> did her thing last year. It's Jay Z's turn. But he won't be doing halftime. Bruno Mars will be doing halftime, but Jay-Z will be performing at the Direct TV Super Saturday night, which is exclusive pre-game party. So he will have a part of it. It's going to be a big show. We made it. And they're doing the Grammys, too. I talked about that yesterday, so they're going to be having a great year already. So somebody from Georgia is doing the halftime. Bruno Mars? Yeah. Uh Oh. He's from Georgia. He went to the side with the cat. Fun fact. Mom, no, he didn't. Chill out, man. He did. Went to Stone Mountain. Went to Stone Stone Mountain. Went to Stone Mountain. The east side. Shut up. Back to Brooke in the city. Next, LeBron James gets in trouble at the White House. I got that next holiday season live streets 94.5. All right. This is an extra special story for Ferrari. All right. LeBron James was at the White House with the rest of the Miami Heat team Tuesday. Why were they there? Well, he got a a presidential pat on the back for winning (laughs) the 2013 championship. Good job. Way to stay focused. But he he (laughs) wasn't. Good job. (laughs) He was more focused on something else, though. He actually was getting a woman's phone number, and it wasn't obviously from How his you know, bro? How you new know wife. Time? Okay, because the associate producer, Stacey Klein from NBC, oh. witnessed it, and she tweeted about it. She said, pretty decent day at the White House today. The Miami Heat gave a POTUS jersey to the head honcho, and I watched LeBron ask a girl for her number right in front of me, and he just got married in September. Man, what Hashtag she, what, happily ever after. First she threw it at him, and he said, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm cool. And then she hated it. First of all, she was asking to be his PR. Oh, or, or, or. Hater. Or not, or not. <laughs> Easy. So uh, LeBron's marriage is off to a little rocky start right there. White House, at the White House. Classy. Girls know they behave. Well, I don't think that she should have posted that on Instagram. That was a little tacky anyway. But, you know, whatever. Snitches We're in the bitches. age of tackiness. Correct. Correct. You're right. Streets945ATL.com for more tacky news, but good news. Yeah. Holidays, holidays, holiday season. Holidays, holidays.